Welcome back to another episode of Novus News. I'm Stephanie Wolf, PA and CEO of the Nova Center here in Studio City. And I'm Jada Pasquale. I'm the registered nurse here at the Nova Center. So today we're talking about how does shockwave therapy reverse cellulite? And in our previous episode, uh, we talked about exactly what cellulite was and how some patients get it. So just to kind of recap real quick, um, you know, cellulite really is a herniation of your fat cells or your adipocytes, um, as well as these little fibrous bands that attach the skin to the muscle layer. They kind of become um, shrunken. So they'll they'll get inflamed and they shrink and they mm -hmm. retract. And so then what happens is these adipocytes or fat cells are gonna now protrude out into that skin, kind of creating that uh, ripple effect that patients will see. And mm -hmm. as we were kind of talking about, yeah. when these fat cells are expanded like that, they start to cut off blood supply, Yeah. right? right. So why would shockwave help somebody with this problem? So we have to, kind of see the anatomy and the physiology of what the shockwave is doing to the body. So I like to think of like, let's say this is the dermal layer and this is the handpiece and it's causing this shockwave to the body of the molecules down here. So I want to think about a water bottle. Let's say you shake the water bottle up and you have those micro bubbles. So that's technically what the handpiece is doing below that skin layer. It's causing these like molecules to just bubble up, which is called cavitation. And in the body, the body recognizes this as micro trauma. And the body's gonna be signaling and say, hey, like what's going on down here? So when micro trauma, anything happens, when you get a cut on your skin, the body's gonna immediately send collagen down there. But with cellulite, like what Stephanie was saying is that fat cells are just stopping that blood flow from happening. And the only way collagen can transfer to that dermal layer is through the blood circulation. Yeah. And so when there's lack of blood flow, then there's no way that collagen can get to that dermal layer. And so when we shake up that whole dermal layer up beneath that surface, um, that shock wave is able to shake up that, that fat cells and basically promote the fat breakdown. Um, and so it allows that blood flow to bring that collagen to the surface so that the collagen production can be stimulated. So what's interesting too is shockwave will also shrink the fat cells. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was something we were talking about in the beginning. You know, we've always known shockwave therapy promotes angiogenesis, which is formation of new blood vessels. Right. So what you were saying, right, it's like creating brand new blood vessels. It's feeding the blood vessels that it currently has but shockwave therapy is also promoting collagen production via these little cavitation bubbles. Right. So when you're getting the little bubbles, it tells the brain, hey, there's damage, come on down. Yeah. So we've always known that's what shockwave does. So for us, you know, when we found out that shockwave also um, reduces the fat cells or basically kind of like gets rid of the toxins inside the fat cells, the fat mm -hmm. cells begin to shrink. Right. So if you're going to shrink the fat cells, <laughs> right, then they're no longer going to protrude. Yeah. And if you think about shockwave, you know, we'll use it on these guys with Peyronie's or trigger finger. And this is something we talked about in the previous episode that mm -hmm it really is this contraction of this cord or this fibrous band. And so shockwave will go in and it's basically breaking up all that inflammation and the scar tissue around the fibrous band. Yeah. So let's just think about it logically for a second. <laughs> so we're going in with these little bubbles right? and we're telling the fat cells to basically flush out, get all mm -hmm. that lymph drainage, right. shrink up the cell, it's promoting more blood flow to kind of feed that rich oxygenated blood to the tissue. Yeah. And now you're creating more tissue, more collagen. So you're just making this like healthier overall skin. Mm -hmm. So my question to you, because we get this all the time. Yes. Does it hurt? Do I need numbing cream? Okay, I'm gonna tell you this, <laughs> it does not hurt. So we do have women, they start out with saying, okay, I need numbing cream, let's try out the numbing cream. Mm -hmm. So just think about it, you put numbing cream at the surface of the skin. And I just talked about how it affects everything below the skin. So when you put numbing cream, it actually doesn't, doesn't really, really do much. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. But if you it's know, if it's good for you, you know, we always tell patients the first time you come in, if you wanna put on numbing cream, feel free. And then, you know, you let us know what's going on. But honestly, it's not uncomfortable. 
um, we don't have patients, you know, asking us to stop or say that it's painful. Yeah. So, you know, numbing cream isn't important. Um, what about how many treatments do you have to have? <laughs> So around eight to 10 treatments. And we have these women come in twice a week for four to five weeks. Mm -hmm. And you know, the procedure is not that long either. It's like 20 minutes, yeah. 30 minutes, kind of depending on, you know, how, um, how large the surface area is that we're treating. And I would say for the most part, what we treat here in the office is the buttocks mm -hmm. and the, the thigh, Re really. That's mm -hmm. kind of what we see the most of. Um, and then after and, treatment. Yeah. So with after treatment, what are we recommending they do? So dry brushing. Dry <laughs> brushing is the number one thing that I talk mm. about all the time. And, you know, here at the clinic, I talk about how ways to actually dry brush starting from the toes all the way up and might as well just do the rest of the body. Yeah. You know, and what dry brushing does, it's in enhancing that lymphatic drainage. And what the lymph nodes do is it drains all of the removal of the the waste products, the toxin buildup, and you know the bloating. I know a lot of us have that bloating, and bloating can actually exaggerate the cellulite on the skin level. That's true, and promoting blood flow too. Yeah, right. Getting rid of uh, dead skin cells, and yeah. you know, patients are coming in here and they're like, "Oh, my skin is so much softer and mm -hmm. smoother." Um, so that's kind of you know our little protocol here at the office. And quite honestly, you know, what we're seeing is for the most part, patients are starting to see improvement after the fourth treatment. Right. So it's pretty incredible, you know, how it actually works, but it makes sense. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call or uh, watch the rep uh, rest of our episodes. <laughs> we'll see you then.